Hello, everyone, and uh, my name is Zach Sun. I'm a product manager within OneDrive and SharePoint migration team. And today, I will introduce a preview feature that can help you migrate your legacy SharePoint workflow to Power Automate. Just to give everybody a quick overview of today's subject, we developed a workflow migration feature on top of the SharePoint migration tool, which is which has already supported SharePoint site and list migration. So we did hear a customer you know, spend a lot of effort to rebuild legacy workflow logic on Power Automate. We believe the new tool can save most of the manual work and automate the conversion process with the best practice. So the tool does a few things. You know, first, a query and a fetch from the source workflow. Secondly, pass the workflow definition. And then third, convert it into a Power Automate flow. Then package the flow into a solution. Finally, publish the solution with Power Automate API. Let's see what you can do from the new feature. With this new feature, actually it is in the public preview, which is available to all. So you can migrate 2010 out-of-box workflow you know, out of box approval and the collect feedback workflow to Power Automate. So tool can migrate list and the library workflow as well as content type workflow. It migrates workflow definition and association to the list, but not the history data. So in the private preview, I will show you later how to get it later. Uh, you can migrate designer workflow. People also call it a custom workflow. Uh, in the virtual one, commonly used workflow actions can be migrated, and we're working on to supporting more actions in upcoming versions. Next, I will demonstrate how the tool migrates workflow in a SharePoint site. Here is the demo. The video is about three minutes long. Let's, let me play it. Power Automate is the new generation workflow engine in Microsoft 365. We have released a new feature on top of SharePoint migration tool to support migrating classic SharePoint workflow to Power Automate. In today's demo, I will show how our tool can migrate out of box and SharePoint designer workflow to Power Automate. The source is a SharePoint on-prem server site with workflow config. The destination is a SharePoint online site and a Power Automate. There are two users in the demo, company IT admin who runs migration tool, the owner Alex who is owner of destination flows. This user takes two steps to complete the migration. First, admin runs workflow migration from SPMT UI and check the workflow reports. Second, Alex sign in Power Automate and turns on migrated workflows. I start with admin. I start a new SharePoint server migration and select a workflow migration type. Enter the source site URL. Select the option of include workflows only for this site. Enter the destination site URL. In the settings page, Enter owner's email address. Click Migrate to start your migration process. After migration is completed, open the migration report. You can find all workflows in your site and their migration status. Then Alex needs to turn on migrated workflows. I sign in Power Automate. Navigate to Solutions page. Locate the solution created by migration tool. In the solution page, edit a connection reference and set a connection to it. I need to do this for all connection references. Then open up a flow detail page, clicking on edit to launch flow designer. You can see the site and the list are correctly set in the trigger action. Then I verify the REST actions. After that, I will turn it on. 
This is the end of workflow migration. All right, cool. So I just copy paste the two links in the chat. As the latest feature of migration design workflow is only available in the private preview, we are inviting you to register and play with it. You also can scan the QR code to fill the form. So after you fill the submit form, we'll follow up with you to share the download link, user guide, and this demo video. You just play the demo video if you want to watch it again. So this is the end of my demo session. If you have any questions, leave it in the chat or send me an email. I will also watch the chat and see what I can answer. So back to you, Vesa. Thank you, Zach. Really, really cool stuff and, and awesome, awesome stuff. And, and by the way, good to call out for those who might be watching this in the recording. The last date of signing in is 13th of June 2022.